Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is Thursday, July 27th, and I want to give a great big happy birthday shout out to my sweet granddaughter, Eleanor, who turns five today. I can't believe it. Wow, we're going to be celebrating her this weekend. So our devotions are coming from Joyce Meyer's book called Trusting God Day by Day. <clears throat> Appreciate all your comments and your prayer requests. Know that I read them and try to at least react to them if I can't respond right away. Okay, our devotion today is entitled, Yes, You Can. And of course, the scriptures come from the Amplified Bible. Our scripture today is from the book of Romans, chapter 15, verses 5 through 6. <clears throat> now may the God who gives the power of patient endurance, steadfastness, and who supplies encouragement grant you to live in such mutual harmony and such full sympathy with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that together you may unanimously with united hearts and one voice praise and glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. All right, let's get into this. This scripture says, God supplies us with encouragement. Encouragement says, yes, you can do it. But perhaps you have heard the words, you can't. Repeatedly throughout your life, many people are good at telling us what we cannot do. Other people may not be against us and may even have good intentions, but they're not so sure we can do it either. Now, I'm not, of course, talking about breaking laws where people say, you can't do that. That's against the law. That's not what she's talking about here. This is you have a dream or you want to pursue something and people say, you can't do that. Okay. Parents, teachers, coaches, friends, family members, and leaders of church groups or social activities often fail to realize the power of their words over young lives. Many children and teenagers grow up thinking, I can't, when that isn't at all. That isn't true at all. No matter how many times you have heard someone say to you, you can't, I want you to say, oh, yes, you can. I believe miracles come in cans. <laughs> Our belief, excuse me, <clears throat> allergies. Our belief that we can do whatever we need to do through Christ, who is our strength. We can do all things. I believe in you. God believes in you. And it's time for you to believe in yourself. Today's a new day. Put the past and all of its negative, discouraging comments behind you. Negative words and words that speak of failure come from the enemy, not from God. So decide right now to not allow the powers of you can't to influence you anymore. God tells you to have courage. So always remember if you feel discouraged, that is from the enemy. And if you feel encouraged, that is from God. Choose to agree with God and say to yourself, I can. And let the power of your positive thoughts and words outweigh the power of the negative words anyone else has ever spoken to you. And that, I think, as they said, there are people that are well-intentioned, you know. Um, how many people, how different would our world be if those people who were told they couldn't do something because of their age, because of their gender, because of their race. You know, we've come through a lot in our history that has, you know, been birthed out of ignorance. A lot of the things we've done have been out of ignorance <clears throat> or about the way things were at those times and how we've grown in all of that. If we never had anybody who had the courage from the Lord to stand up and do what they were told they could not do. I remember, and I never understood why this was such a thing. There's a picture, it came up in Facebook, and, uh, you know, one of those little ad things where if you click on it, it starts taking you through a whole bunch of pictures and stuff, pictures from history. And I don't remember her name. I should remember it. But she was the first woman to run the Boston Marathon. And the picture they posted was of an official trying to rip her number off her 
her shirt while she was running. And a lot of the men stepped in to stop them from doing that. I never understood why it was such a big deal that a woman run the race. Just let anybody run. You know, that's my thoughts exactly. But it or women trying to get the vote. Why was that such a problem? You know, why were they putting women in jail for voting? Literally, women got locked up for voting. Now, I'm not going to turn this into some feminist rant. I'm not. Because our freedoms and our rights come from the Lord and we've had to grow as a society. There was a certain mindset, a certain role that women followed. And as God wanted to grow and expand that, as our times have allowed it to happen, as we have grown, as things have grown, there's pain in growth. Okay. And so there are things that maybe convention has said, you can't do that. But if the Lord is leading and pushing you to do it, you must. God said you can do all things through him. And so we, we have to not be afraid. Obviously, God's not encouraging you to break the law <laughs> or do anything like that, unless the law is an unjust law. Like women, it was against the law for women to vote. At one time, it was against the law for women to have a credit card. So there are some things that need to change. But, you know, assault, battery, theft, obviously those things are not okay. Okay. All right. So our trust in him today, complete this sentence. Yes, I can blank. Trust God to give you the strength and encourage to see you through your situation. I've said it so many times. If God brings you to it, he will bring you through it. So don't be afraid. Okay. Whatever he's stirring up inside you, Whatever thing, and you can always test the spirit to make sure it's not just something in the moment that you're influenced by a friend or an event or something you saw, you know, and you're like, oh, you know how commercials will suddenly a child wants that toy, but you ask them a few months later and they want something else. You have to test the spirit and make sure when an idea or something comes to you, that it's something that's persistently coming back, that you can't get away from it, that it continues. That's likely the Lord leading you into something like that changing your job, moving, uh, you know, pursuing this avenue in your career, pursuing that, you know, it's important for us to step out and not be afraid. God is with us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this word today. And I pray, Father, that everyone listening receives encouragement from your Holy Spirit to do what you're urging them to do, to replace I can't with I can, because your word says we can we can do all things through Christ. Father, we thank you for the encouragement that you give us, for persistently pursuing us, Father God, even when we're a little slow to, to receive it, Father, and to take action. Thank you for your patience with us, oh God. Help us to say yes so the devil cannot steal any more of our time and rob us of the future and blessing that you want us to have. We thank you, Father. Help us to receive your word in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you and thank you again. I hope you decide to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. Share this if you think somebody would be blessed by it. And of course, I still have a long list of things that I have to do aside from cleaning house and putting up party decorations. I uh, am almost finished with the wedding flowers and they're turning out beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I, you know, I just got a lot to do and just a few more days to get it done. So <laughs> I really need the Lord's help to organize my time. It says he orders the steps of the righteous. So Lord, order my steps today and help me to manage well what I'm doing. So God bless you guys and have a great day. Bye until next time.